Welcome to Bus Driver Life. My name is Kiwan. I am a bus driver. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I had someone leave a comment and they asked the question, what's the difference between a commuter route and a regular route? So I'm gonna try my best to explain that. So there are so many different transit agencies in the United States of America alone. So different places are gonna have different names for a regular route, they may call it a local route, and they're gonna have different names for commuter routes. It may be an express, or even as Milwaukee, in the state of Wisconsin, refers to their commuter bus routes as freeway flyers, which I think is the coolest branding for a commuter route service. And of course, I'm a little bit biased because Milwaukee, Wisconsin is my hometown. So what is a regular route? Well, today I am operating a regular route. As you can see, I'm operating the Route 81. It has service on 65th and on Florin Road. It goes from University 65th Light Rail Station. It stops by the Florin Town Center, by the Florin Light Rail Station, and it goes on to Florin and Riverside. Then we make a U-turn and go back. So this route has daily service all day in both directions. It runs seven days a week. Now, a regular route doesn't have to necessarily run seven days a week, but in general, it's gonna be daily bus service. Some will run later than others, some will start earlier than others, but it's generally basic daily service throughout the city. Now, what is a commuter route? Well, commuter routes are a little bit different. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Generally, a commuter route is only going to operate Mondays through Fridays, a.m. and p.m. rush hour or peak hours only. So in the a.m., it will serve, let's say, a park and ride lot. What is a park and ride lot? So the park and ride lots are generally in the suburbs or outskirts of the city. It's gonna be somewhere really far away from the downtown center of a city. And people will park their cars at the park and ride lot and get onto a public transit bus and take it into downtown. And they don't have to deal with all the crazy traffic that you encounter while driving on the highways during the rush hour or the peak hour times. So these commuter routes will pick you up from the park and ride lot, or it may even have routing throughout certain streets in a particular area where people can take the bus, and it will take you all the way into downtown, and it will do drop-offs in downtown, and people can get to their jobs. Typically, corporate and government jobs, a lot of times, will be located in the downtown areas of a lot of cities. And there's generally gonna be just a few trips in the AM going one way only into downtown. Then in the PM, it will pick up from downtown and take you back to where you started in the a.m. So it's one-way service to downtown in the a.m. and one-way service from downtown in the p.m. And it's generally just a few trips in the a.m. and a few trips in the p.m. Another difference with commuter routes is you will potentially see different types of transit vehicles serving commuter bus routes. Of course, you will see standard transit buses operating commuter routes. You can see me getting onto this public transit bus and driving off. Not going to do a commuter route though, just going to do a regular route. You will also sometimes see a modified version of a public transit bus. So you can see the Gillick BRT bus here. It looks just like a public transit bus, except it does not have a rear door and a lot of times the seating on buses like this will be more like that of a motor coach so you'll see the motor coach style seating on the interior of these buses a lot of times and they're a lot more comfortable and they recline and it makes a lot of sense because a lot of commuter routes are long distance you'll even see cutaway vans that are modified for public transit on commuter routes sometimes and as you can see this cutaway van has a destination sign at the top one of the more common types of buses that you will see on a commuter route is a modified motor coach. You can see here this is an MCI motor coach that has been slightly modified for public transit use. It has a bicycle rack on the front. It also has a head sign which can display route and destination information. And outside of public transit agencies you also have some private charter and motor coach companies that also do line runs and commuter runs as well. And as a matter of fact there's a video out right now from Captain John, former truck driver turned motor coach operator, and he will walk you through a day of him operating operating a commuter run. I will have a link to this video in the description. So after you watch this video, go ahead and watch the video from Captain John and make sure you subscribe to him if you have not already done so. Here's an example of a freeway flyer commuter route in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the Milwaukee County Transit System. And as you can see, it picks up at the State Fair Park and Ride Lot in the AM and it takes you into downtown Milwaukee and it drops off along Wisconsin Avenue. Wisconsin Avenue is one of the main arteries in the downtown Milwaukee area. And then in the PM, it will just reverse that and pick up on Wisconsin Avenue in downtown Milwaukee and take you back to the State Fair Park and Ride Lot in the afternoon.
And even as we look at the schedule, you see there's just a few trips in the AM and a few trips in the PM. Of course, there's always exceptions to the rule, but in general, this is how commuter routes work. And since we're talking about the Milwaukee County Transit System, and I was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here goes the articulated buses that used to serve Milwaukee's freeway flyer routes. I used to love this articulated bus. To date, this is my favorite articulated bus ever. I used to love riding on this bus, and it served Milwaukee in the 80s and the 90s. So to all my bus drivers and passengers, what do they call the commuter routes in your area? And hopefully I answered your question. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit the like, and thank you for watching Bus Driver Life.